The first bridge in the world was built around 1300 BC, located in the Peloponnese Peninsula of Greece. It was named Arcadico Bridge. It was part of a major trade route between Tyrans and Epidauros. But today it has much less traffic. At the moment it's mostly only used by locals. Otherwise it will be abandoned by the world. But ever since man built arch bridges, they continued to build longer and more spectacular bridges. It's not just about transporting passengers, but also to show off as a milestone of modern engineering civilization. In spite of this, many modern bridges are almost unheard of. That's why today we're looking at the top 10 most dangerous bridges in the world. No time is too late. Let's get started. Number 10. Trift Bridge. Switzerland. The Alpine regions of Switzerland. It's often called the Swiss Alps. It is one of the most famous mountains in the world. In fact, the area is well known. It attracts about 80 million visitors a year. To meet the entertainment needs of the influx of tourists. There are more than 600 ski resorts and more than 10,000 ski facilities. Yes. I don't have a stammer. 10,000. This huge activity is also a much needed part of the local economy. In fact. In the Alps. Tourism is a nearly $55 billion a year industry. It provides 12% of all local jobs. But because it's 4,634 feet above sea level, many attractions are not suitable for many people who are not art enthusiasts. The prime example is the Trift Bridge. This simple suspension bridge spans nearly 170 meters. At a dangerous height of 330 meters. If you're brave enough to cross the drawbridge and ventured foolishly to look down, you'll find yourself above the beauty of Lake Triftsi. It's a relatively new bridge and was completed in 2002. As the glaciers melt, finally, if you feel the need to cross this creepy bridge, you have to get in front of it first. The eight-person cable car ride takes 10 minutes. After getting off the cable car, visitors still have to make the arduous 90-minute trek to the top. Despite the traffic problems, the bridge still attracts 2,000 passers by each year. Number 9. Karakareed Rope Bridge. Northern Ireland. The bridge is located in Northern Ireland, connected to the small island of Karakareed. I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce it. But who cares now? The terrible bridge spans 20 meters. The pedestrian hangs 98 feet above the water and rocks. For more than 350 years, fishermen have been building bridges across the vast expanse of sea, hoping to catch salmon nearby. However, with the time goes by, the number of salmon on the bridge has decreased. The bridge itself became a busy tourist attraction. Despite the terrible scenery, nearly half a million people a year come to test their ability to walk on narrow, swaying structures. Those who make it to the bridge can enjoy spectacular views of the island and the Scottish coast. However, just because you had the courage to walk across the bridge, doesn't mean you can walk a second time. In fact, many people panicked halfway across the bridge. They had to be carefully helped to the other side. This means that ships are often called. Take away those who are afraid to walk again. Number 8. The Capilano Suspension Bridge. Canada. Capilano Suspension Bridge was built in 1889. Across the Capilano River north of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. At present. It is a private facility. Visitors pay $43 to walk through. It attracts more than 1.2 million visitors a year. But. It is no ordinary bridge in itself. The bridge is 460 feet long. 230 feet off the ground. Here's the shocker. 
This amazing structure was built in 1889 by George Graham McKay with twine and cedar planers. But in 1903, it is reinforced by cables. There has been little escalation since then. If the sight of sunlight from nearly 250 feet isn't enough to attract tourists. Many indigenous communities also contribute to the local culture of the region. Nowadays, it has become a cultural landmark. Here you can learn about local history and test your nerves on the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Number 7. Kwandinsky Bridge. Russia. Kalum Road or the Main Line or Bam Road is considered one of the toughest extreme routes in the world. It runs along the Trans-Siberian Railway. Thrill seekers from all over the world every year. To test their limits by crossing 310,040 kilometers of trails. This bold route crosses what many consider Russia's most irreversible rainfall path. Across northern Siberia. There is a bridge along Bam Road among the many obstacles. It's called the Kandinsky Bridge. The Kandinsky Bridge is as wide as a car. It's built from decaying railroad wood. Yes. A skilled driver can cross it in less than three minutes. But what they face in those 180 seconds is enough to haunt them for the rest of their lives. The Kandinsky Bridge is notoriously unstable. Because of the cold, fast water under its bridge. The situation did not get better. In addition to strong winds, fast currents, and narrow paths. There are no railings on the Kandinsky Bridge. In fact, it was very painful to cross the bridge. During the high winds, the driver had to roll down the window to reduce wind resistance, to keep them from being blown into the icy water below. Number 6. The Marienbruck. Germany. The sixth most dangerous bridge is a freestanding structure. The Marienbruck Bridge crosses the gorge behind New Swan Stone Castle. New Swan Stone Castle is a Romanesque revival palace. Situated in the rugged mountains of Schwengo, a town on the German-Austrian border in southwestern Bavaria, Germany. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced every word in that sentence. The castle was built in memory of a man named Richard Wagner. It was also the home of Ludwig II of Bavaria. When his mother Maria Prussia died, the second son built the bridge and named it after her. Marienbruck means Marion's Bridge. In memory of Ludwig's mother, the bridge spans more than 300 feet into the Pollard Canyon. From their point of view, the Marienbruck is only 135 feet deep. However, those brave enough to go to Marienbruck are treated to views of the castle that can't get anywhere else. Number 5. The Royal Gorge Bridge. The United States. As the highest bridge in the United States. This bridge is not for the faint of heart. This miracle project is located in Colorado, USA. Built in 1929. 1,260 feet across the Arkansas River. Water depth 1,053 feet. It is made of a mixture of steel and wood. Includes 1,292 boards. Although the Royal Gorge Bridge is a major tourist attraction. But in 2013, a wildfire destroyed most of the nearby buildings. Includes a visitor center and a cable car system. The Royal Gorge Bridge is almost gone forever. The fire also reached the bridge. Only part of the bridge remains. It was repaired and reopened in August 2014. Number 4. The Aiguille du Midi Bridge. France. This bridge is probably one of the shortest on today's list. But it also makes it no less scary. This bridge is huge. Because it's suspended at 12,500 feet above sea level. The bridge was drilled into the Aiguille du Midi Mountain in Chardonshire. Widely regarded as the highest peak in Europe. If the height of the bridge isn't enough for you. There is also a skywalk. Visitors can step into glass boxes suspended over the vast valley. If you're looking for a bigger thrill. 
you can be like this guy. Fly under it with wings. But we probably wouldn't recommend this. Number 3. The Sky Bridge. Langkawi. Malaysia. Langkawi Sky Bridge is a major tourist attraction in the Malaysian state of Kedah. The bridge is so high. If someone falls off it, it took them about 22 seconds to get to the ground. When they landed, they will travel at a speed of 724 kilometers per hour. The speed of a commercial airliner. In fact, the Langkawi Sky Bridge is 2,170 feet above the ground. 410 feet long. The Miracle Project was completed in 2005, which can only be reached by cable car. Now it's time for today's top 2. Now the bridge I'm going to show you is probably one of the most terrifying bridges we've seen today. Number 2. Titley's Cliff Walk. Switzerland. It is the highest suspension bridge in Europe. Switzerland's Titley's Bridge certainly makes the list. The 320-foot-long, 10,000-foot bridge cost about $1.3 million to build. It was specifically designed to be a tourist attraction. And it did not disappoint. In the first two weeks, the bridge is open. Nearly 500 tourists crossed the bridge. Consider the many media reports on the world's scariest bridge. The turnout was actually more surprising. The Swiss tourism industry calls it an adrenaline-high new adventure. Now, before we get to first place, let's take a look at some of the honorary nominations. Most bridges are potentially dangerous. Let's face it. Even if everything goes according to plan, it was also quite a frightening experience. But there are two bridges that have notoriously high death rates. Thousands of people commit suicide on the two bridges every year. The first is the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge in China. By 2006 there had been more than 2,000 suicides. That makes it the highest suicide bridge in the world. Surpassing the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge remains the second deadliest bridge in the world. I saved the best for last. Number 1. Deception Pass. Washington. Deception Pass is the name of a pair of bridges in Washington state. That's nearly 1,490 feet. It can accommodate pedestrians and vehicles at a height of nearly 200 feet. The huge building was built in 1935. More than 1,590 tons of steel were used in its construction. Today it can accommodate nearly 20,000 vehicles a day. The bridge consists of two parts. One part is called an exception pass or deception pass. The other part is called canoe pass. The use of the word pass refers to the original purpose for which they were built. To get the horse and carriage across the river. And let the big ships pass underneath. 